so it's fully mechanical. So what'll happen, you stick your dime in and it rotates one spot. You see, you can get this coke out, but you can't get that one out. So there you have it. The only thing that's changed is the price. So back in 1950, a price of a soda was 10 cents. Now it costs us $1. <laughs> so anyway, but for customers, we charge them a dime. Sort of feel like old time general store, right? You walk in and this kind of added to it. But what I mean by general store is think about the tools that you need, right? To, to, to do the hard work that you need to do. So these are kind of all hand-picked problem solving products with, from companies that we know really, really well. So that's what you'd see in the general store. But you'd also see um, workwear. So you know we have a lot of Carhartt uh, in the other room, a lot of Carhartt. Uh, footwear, uh, great lifestyle product from Patagonia. Vortex, you know, you know Vortex locally. Um, this product has been absolutely on fire, both on the optics side and the apparel side. And then just great lifestyle product from, from Yeti and uh, many others. But in a general store, in a general store, you also got to have candy. So we have hard candy, and we have Charleston Chews, and we have Hershey and all that. So, you know, as an e-commerce company who's servicing the country, you have to go through the filters you're just talking about of what do people need. But locally at a retail store, we're going to have a mix of tourists and also, um, you know, hardworking people that are just coming in for the right gear. It was kind of fun to think through that. And it's actually a big part of why we opened the store is to get in front of customers, be able to learn from them, get feedback from them, and, and also show off some of what we do. You know, my wife and I put everything we had into it and um, got, to, got back to the basics. So what are the basics? Well, let's make sure we have the right product. Let's make sure we know who we're actually trying to serve, and let's work on the customer service, and how do we try to match the e-commerce that the Amazons and the big, the big folks have? How do we match that as best as we can? And, how do we get the culture of the company right and all those things. So we're kind of two years into that um, uh, evolution or however you want to say. And this retail store is just a kind of a natural extension of that.